Thank you everyone for joining in. My name is Tyler Cranston with Easy Life Journey. Today, I want to cover about social anxiety. Social anxiety is the most common illness. Life is unfair and there are many others that have worse illness and disabilities than social anxiety. Don't let this mind controlling illness strip you of the one amazing life you were given. Social anxiety affects about 40 million adults, which is the worst part is only about 37% actually get treatment. Here are three topics concerning social, social anxiety that we will address. What causes social anxiety? Living with social anxiety denies you a freedom. How to break this curse and start living your life. I myself used to suffer from social anxiety from an early age of 12 to 21. So I can relate by actual experiences and I'm willing to share what and how I was able to finally vanquish this curse once and for all. No doctors, treatments, family books, or other sources assisted me in this battle. It may be hard to believe, but I fought this battle alone. Every sweat, blood, and tears was worth it because this is my life and I will live it to the fullest. I'm not going to let this social anxiety win over me. Number one, what causes social anxiety? Social anxiety can arise from many complications, circumstances, environmental factors, and one can be even born with it. As for me, I had complications including severe acne, being short, and my parents cutting my hair every two to three weeks. I like long hair. These three things paved the way for a 10 year life of anguish and misery. Yes, for 10 years I had depression and I and was the culprit of my social anxiety. So my number one social anxiety problem was talking to attractive girls and going to school. I wanted to look handsome and beautiful all the time because I like beautiful girls so I believe that in order to talk to them I have to be beautiful as well. Guys have more of this problem than girls obviously because we are the ones that usually have to initiate a conversation. So basically when I went to school my head was always down, I was always lumped over and I never looked up. It was very miserable. Only practice and more practice helps with social anxiety. True example. The first time I danced on stage, there was around 500 people in the audience. I was super scared and nervous. I've never done it before. However, after the performance, I could see and hear the crowd applauding really loud and cheerful. I felt liberated. What was this feeling? Before I was anxious and afraid, but now I was a complete 180 degrees. The second, third, fourth, and even the 50th time felt amazing. You just have to take a leap of faith. People with mental or physical disabilities believe in their mind that they cannot accomplish something because of the way they look or think. That's facts and backed by 10 years of personal experience. There are people who literally have extreme disabilities like deformed face, being super short, missing limbs, etc. I cannot describe such feeling because I don't have it, but it must be really agonizing. But you know what? They continue on living because they know that each moment is a gift and that they have to do whatever they can to in order to be happy and feel alive. Number two, living with social anxiety denies you a freedom. When we accept the fact that life is fair by being unfair, then we will be, it will be easier to live. If not, then we will have to live the rest of our lives in despair, regret, and misery. Having certain disabilities that cannot be fixed like missing limbs or a deformed face, then that just means it will be extremely difficult to overcome your problems. Making new or more friends may be difficult. Is it not better to have one true good friend than a hundred fake friends? Why would you want to hang around with people that just use you or bring you down? You have one life and an infinite amount of chances. We can choose to be miserable and make excuses each moment or we can live or we can learn how to deal with those issues and use it to our advantage. Life wants you to exist, only you can decide how you want to, even under the most difficult circumstances. I was fed up and miserable for 10 years of my life. If I want the happiness and how I wanted to live, then I had to change now. Every day felt like carrying a stone in my back. Eventually I wasn't going to continue on. Number three, how to break this curse and start living your life. 800 people attempt to climb the worst tallest mountain each year, Mount Everest. About 8,300 have successfully done so and about 300 has perished. One of the greatest feat in human history and even death doesn't stop them. How bad do you want it? How much sacrifice and pain is required? Well, you stop at nothing to get it. It just means you have to practice, practice, and practice until you finally overcome it. What did I do to help with my looks? My severe acne didn't get better. I mean, it did get better, but it's not gone. I still have big pores, scarring and very oily face, so I have to be eat very healthy. I'm a vegetarian, and my height will remain the same, so I chose to accept it, and I kind of like short hair now. It took me a few years to change and accept what I am and who I am. When I did, amazing things happened, and I was able to talk to whoever I wanted to and do whatever I so please. If someone doesn't like me for who I am, then they are not worth my time. Meditation and happiness. If I can recommend one thing to overcome social anxiety, it would be meditation. I have been meditating twice a day for about 20 minutes, and meditation has the power to change the way you think and act. If you meditate on the solution of your problem instead of dwelling on it, you will start to live a new reality. You see, your opinions and thoughts are real. They are your reality and no one can change that. Life doesn't make sense, but it lets you think. Think about negativity and problems and guess what? You start to have them in your life. 
you attract things that you give energy and focus to. Social anxiety is keeping you from being happy because it is stopping you from doing what you want. Have fun talking to people and don't take it seriously. Get used to rejection and try again. Take it as a learning experience, not a negative and humiliating one. You will have the rest of your life ahead of you. Don't let a few moments dictate your entire life. Everyone has problems, makes mistakes, however the stronger the ones that know if they don't face it or do something about it, then they will never get anywhere in life or conquer their problems. Motivation and purpose for living. You can't talk to new people, fear big audience, or being in public makes your hands sweaty. What is it going to take you to face your fears? You can study all day, ask people, watch videos, which is fine, but if you don't go out there and try it, then it's never going to do anything for you. I can study how to be a singer, but if I can't sing in front of people, then what's the point? Being tired and in constant fear can be a great motivator. I wasn't going to let another 10 years pass me by, especially 10 miserable, painful years. Eventually, you'll break out of your shell, if you ever do. Do you want to start enjoying life, overcoming your fears, trying new things, not being afraid of rejection or ridicule? If you don't ask, you won't receive. Why are you living? You don't have a choice in that matter, but how you are living, you have every choice. When you overcome your social anxiety, amazing new things will start to happen. You will enjoy life more, you have more confidence in the things you do. Maybe new opportunities will open up, experience a new life outside your home and so forth. Aren't those things just better than being inside your own prison? Why are you letting social anxiety crush your dreams? Practice, have someone help you study about it, do whatever it takes to overcome social anxiety. I overcame social anxiety alone, no one helped me. And if I'm able to do it, then you are too. That's all for today. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please like, sub, share, and subscribe. And have an amazing day.